In these problems, we are being asked to apply both the uh, product rule and the power rule of exponents. And just as a reminder, the product rule says that if you're multiplying together two things that have the same base and are raised to powers, you add the powers. So x squared times x to the third, we take 2 plus 3 to get x to the fifth. So that's the product rule. The power rule says that when you raise a power to another power, you multiply those exponents. So x squared to the third power is x to the 2 times 3, or x to the sixth power. In these problems, we have some uh, powers to raise other powers to. We have uh, a multiplication problem uh, being done here. And also, we have to be careful of these negative signs and make sure we get the right sign in the end. The place we should start is with exponents. So we're going to take this second power here and apply it to all the things inside the parentheses. Um, when you have a negative sign, a negative number or a negative something, and you square it, it's going to come out positive. So this is going to go away. So I'm just going to stop thinking about that negative sign. And then we're going to apply this power, this power of 2, to each of the pieces. So um, x squared to the second power is x to the 2 times 2, or x to the fourth. And similarly, y squared to the second power would be y to the fourth. And z squared to the second power would be z to the fourth. All right, so that's that bit. We'll just put that in parentheses still. And then this bit, we've got negative 3x cubed, y cubed, and z. So now we've dealt with our powers we can just multiply these two things together. And what we're going to do is just take each of the, the terms. So the x is going to multiply with the x, the y with the y, and the z with the z, and so forth. I don't have any other number terms, so this negative 3, 3 will be part of the answer. Now, let's just take the x to the third times x to the fourth. This is the product rule, so we add the exponents. 3 plus 4 is 7, so that should be x to the seventh. For the y, we have y to the third and y to the fourth, so that's going to be y to the seventh as well. And then for the z, we have z to the first and z to the fourth, so that's going to be z to the fifth power. And that is our answer on that one. All right, let's take a look at, at uh, this next one. We've got a couple of negative signs in here. We've got things being raised to third powers. Uh, just as a reminder for myself before I start the problem, I, what I see here is that you know, when you raise a negative sign to an odd power, you keep the negative sign. That's happening in both of these. So this chunk is going to be negative. This chunk is going to be negative. Then they're multiplied together. When you multiply two negative signs together, they become positive. So my final answer is going to be positive here. So that's something for just for me to remember. Um, let's, um, let's take these chunks one at a time, though. I'm going to start with this one. We've got negative x to the third power. Well, that becomes negative x to the third power. And then we've got y to the third to the third power. Multiply the exponents. 3 times 3 is 9, so that's y to the ninth. All right, so that's the first chunk. Second chunk, we've got negative 2 to the third power. That is negative 8. We've got x to the third power. That's x cubed. And we've got z to the second power, so 2 times 3 is 6, so that's z to the sixth. It didn't really look like a 3 there. All right. Now we're going to multiply. Uh, we'll take the number part first. I've got a negative sign here and a negative 8 here. That comes out to be a positive 8. Then the x, x to the third and x to the third. Add the exponents, x to the sixth. And then y to the ninth, and no y is over here, so I just put down my y to the ninth. And then my z to the sixth here, but no z is over there, so that's just z to the sixth. So that's our answer on that one. And that is a little bit of work applying both the product rule and the power rule.